Hey, Neil Smith here with U.S. Captain's Training. You are looking at Amplitude, Practice Problem 4. One notable part of this problem is that you need to add 12 hours to your corrected crime time in order to get the proper GMT. That's about all for this one. Enjoy the process. <laughs> Compass deviation by amplitude of the sun. Practice problem four. So here we're on problem four. And let's, let's record all the givens in the problem. Here's the givens. <clears throat> they are the date, April 7th. Date equals April 7th. And... The DR position is given. The DR position is latitude 2742, lat 27 degrees 42 minutes north. The longitude is 114 and 3 minutes, 114 degrees 3 minutes west. And you observe the amplitude of the sun. The sun's center is on the celestial horizon, bears 76 PSC. Sun bearing equals 76 degrees PSC. And the chronometer reads 2, 10, 17, and is 1 minute 52 seconds slow. So the cron time, cron time is 2, 10, 17, 2. 10, 17 hours, minutes, seconds. And the cron error is equal to a minute 52 seconds slow. One minute 52 seconds, and that's slow, which means we add it. And then lastly, variation is 8 degrees east. Variation is equal to 8 degrees east. What is the deviation? Deviation. What is that deviation? So first thing we do to solve this problem is get the GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. And to do that, we take the cron time and adjust it. So the cron time is 2, 10, 17, 2, 10, 17 and put the error on it. So we're gonna add one minute, 52 seconds. Add one minute, 52 seconds. That gives us seven and two is nine, one. And that's, so that's, yes, yeah, seven, eight, nine. One and five is six. 10 and 1 is 11 in 2 hours. Okay, so this cron time, interestingly, there's ambiguity in the chronometer because it's 12 hours, so it can go around twice in a day. So we need to come over here. We add 12 to 2, and we get 14 hours, 11 minutes, 69 seconds. Now, which of these possibilities is the one we need. So what we need to do is take, we need to figure out how many hours away from Greenwich Mean Time we are. We can do that by taking the longitude, which is 114 degrees, and that's west, and dividing it by 15 degrees per time zone, and that is going to equal 114 divided by 15 equals 7.6. We round up to the nearest whole hour to put a solid in a time zone. So 8. So this is 7.6, but we round up to 8 hours. And now do we add or subtract this 8 hours from GMT? Well, let's look at that. If we are at Greenwich Mean Time, the prime meridian, here's some time zones. We go to the east 
we add to the east. If we go to the west, we are subtracting to the west. In this case, we're west. So we are subtracting. So we're going to subtract that eight hours. Now let's see what happens. When we subtract eight hours, this will give us our local mean time. Subtract eight hours from both of these. So two minus eight, we can't do that. But if we add 24 hours to this, we say 24 plus two equals minus eight equals 18. So this is going to get us 18. We'll just say hours, 11 minutes, 69 seconds. 14 minus 8 is going to give us 6. 14 minus 8, 6. 0, 6 hours, 11 minutes, 69 seconds. And these, so this is going to be a local mean time. And it's, these are approximate as well because we didn't account for these 3 degrees, which is like negligible. So, are we p.m. or a.m.? Let's look. Sun bearing 76 degrees PSC. That is in the east. So, this is in the east, which means the sun is rising when we took the bearing, which means it's a.m. So, this is local mean time. Which one is a.m. local mean time? Here, 6 a.m which means we are working with 141169 for our GMT. So, and same day, right? When we subtracted eight, we just, we stayed in the same day. This one, you can see we switched today. So we get GMT, GMT is equal to 14 hours, 11 minutes, 69, seconds on April 7th, on April 7th, and that allows us to get the declination. So we're going to jump in the nautical almanac and get the declination and the D value for this GMT on that day. So April 7th, April, May, May, April 7th. Seventh. Make sure, yeah, we're right. Four, five, six, seven. April 7th, here's the sun column. GMT 7. And then we're working with 14 hours. So here's the hours. So 7, 14, north 6, 55.9. And let's see what. We need to know where we add or subtract the D correction so we see if it's getting smaller. So it's getting it's getting larger. 55.9, 56, good. So we're the 14th, we're the 7th, 14, north, 6, 55.9, getting bigger. North 6, 55.9, getting bigger. So we're north 6, 55.9, we're getting bigger bigger. All right, so what's the D value? Let's come down to this D value here. 0 0.9. D value is 0 0.9. So we're adding 0 0.9. And now there's a correction that needs to be applied to this D value. So we go to the corrections and it's the increments and corrections. So we're looking at 11. Here's the increments. See that? Oh, look at what we did. 69. See this? This is 9, 12. If you have 69 minutes, you take out 60 and add it to the minutes. So here we are. 14, 12, 09. This didn't change anything yet, but this 12, being 12, did because we need to come up to these increments. So instead of this, yeah, instead of 11, we're using 12. Good, and here we are in 12. We go right to the D values, and our D value is 0.9. So we use 0 0.2. So we have this. So the correction is 0 0.2, and we know that we add it because the declination was increasing. 
0 0.2. So we add these together and we'll get north 6 point, whoops, that's not right, north 6, 56.1. 56.1 minutes. So we need to get all of this into degrees. So we divide the minutes by 60, which is going to give us declination equal to north 6. Point what? 56.1 divided by 60 equals 0.94. Point nine four degrees. So this is our declination we're going to use. And now we need to find the um, latitude. So dr lat is equal to 2742. 27 degrees 42 minutes north. And we need to, again, get this into degrees. So divided by 60. So we're going to get 27 point what? 42 divided by 60 equals 0 0.7. 27.7 degrees north. This is our lat. We'll use this in the next step. So the next step, we're going to come up here and we're going to say the sine, the amplitude is equal to the sine of the declination divided by the cosine of the latitude. We'll do this math. Sine declination. So it's the sine of declination 6.94. 6.94 divided by the cosine of the latitude, which is 27.7. 27.7. Say sine 6.94. 6.94 equals 0 0.12083. 0 0.12083. Now we'll do the cosine. Cosine 27.7 equals 0.88. 539, 0 0.88539, 0 0.88539. Now we'll do this division, 0 0.12083 divided by 0 0.88539 equals 0 0.13647, 0 0.13647. Four, seven. And so this is the sine of the amplitude. So we need to get just the amplitude. We'll take this sine and do the inverse over here. So this equals sine inverse 0 0.13647. And this is going to equal the amplitude in quadrantic notate in quadrantal notation is what will come out of here. Second sine inverse the negative one point one three six four seven one three six four seven equals seven point eight seven point eight degrees now we need to name this up here is going to be east or west uh the sun was wearing 76 so that was east because it's rising right East, and now it's going to be north or south based on declination. We're north. Okay, and now we need to figure out degrees from true. So let's get this going. North, south, east, west. And we are east, so we're over here. And now we're 7.8 north, so we're toward the north. 7.8. So now, from north, it's going to be, see this 90? If we take this 90 minus this, it's going to give us this. It's going to give us the degrees from north. So we're going to say this equals 90 
minus 7.8, which equals, so our amplitude from north is going to be 90 minus 7.8 degrees equals 82.2 degrees. 82.2 degrees true. We're going to put this, correct the compass, T, V, M, D, C, true variation, magnetic deviation compass. When we're going down, we add west. So we start at 82.2, 82.2 degrees true. Variation was 8 east. In the problem, it was given 8.0 degrees east. We're going down, so we subtract east. 82.2 minus 8 equals 74.2. 74.2 degrees. And now we, we're finding deviation, but compass was given here. The compass bearing was 76. 76.0 degrees PSC. And so we can take 74.2 minus 76 equals 1.8. 1.8. And now is this east or west? We need to find that out. So from 74 to 76, we're adding. So when we go down, we add west. So we got 1.8 degrees west. Let's check our answers. Hey, there we are. A, 1.8 degrees west is the correct answer to compass deviation by amplitude of the sun. Practice problem four. Thank you.